Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Similarity. In this video, I will talk about polyframe note. Also, I will show you an example of using this note to basically create a portal kind of effect. Okay. So the first thing that we need is a geometry node. And now I will create a circle here. Let me change its orientation to ZX plane. And now I will plug in the polyframe node. And as you can see here, basically a polyframe node generates three different kind of vectors, normal tangent and bitangent. Also, we have this style option here, first edge, two edges, primitive centroid and all these options. But in this video, I will only be talking about these first two options because 99% of the times I, I am using these two options only. And if you want to know about other option, you can definitely check the documentation. And if you have any kind of doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Okay. Okay. So let me set the style to first stage. And if I go here and visualize our normal and tangent U and tangent V. Okay. Let me change its colors. I will uh, change the color of normal to blue one and uh, color of tangent u vector to red and by tangent to yellow okay so let me first go with the normal okay so the first vector that uh, this node generate is the normal vector okay also let me tell you one thing the normal vector that this node generate is basically the averaged normal or a smoothed normal right uh, what what i mean by that uh, let me show you in photoshop uh, let's say uh, if we have a polygon here and another polygon here and also one polygon here and one polygon somewhere here okay and let me change color to green this is our point okay basically this point shares all these four polygons or faces and right now each of these face has a normal vector of its own right and that normal vector will be pointed along the will be pointed perpendicular to the surface okay these are their uh, face normals or polygon normals okay so when i plug a polyframe node to this geometry the normal vector that it calculate for this point will be the average of these normal vector okay so the average of these normal vectors will be somewhere here right so that what this node does it basically calculates an average normal you can also visualize this using a sphere example and uh, let's talk about this particular point okay so these are the face normals okay now if i plug polyframe node here so this you see this vector here basically this normal vector will be the average of these four surrounding vectors these four surrounding normal vectors okay so that what this node does So this is the first vector uh, that this node generates normal vector and the next vector that we have is the tangent u vector. Also uh, before I begin let me show you one thing uh, in our circle example. Here if I visualize our tangent u vector. So you can see right now our tangent u vector is pointed along the edges right. If I change the style to two edges you can see the direction change so what is happening so basically the direction of tangent u vector depends on the style that you choose here right so first talk uh, first we will talk about this first edge option so when i set the style to first edge the direction of tangent u vector will be along the edge that comes first in the winding order <coughs> let me repeat it again when i set the style to first edge 
द डायरेक्शन ऑफ टेंजेंट यू वैक्टर विल बी एलोंग द एज दैट कम्स फर्स्ट इन द वाइंडिंग ऑर्डर ओके ना वॉट्स अ वाइंडिंग ऑर्डर बेसिकली वाइंडिंग ऑर्डर इज द ऑर्डर इन विच द वर्टाइसेस आर अटैच टू द पॉइंट वाइंडिंग ऑर्डर इज द ऑर्डर इन विच द वर्टाइसेस आर अटैच टू द पॉइंट इट कैन बी क्लॉक वाइज और इट कैन बी एंटी क्लॉक वाइज लेट मी शो यू सॉरी सो दीज आवर दीज आर दी पॉइंट नंबर राइट जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स टू इलेवन and if i show you the vertex number here this these are our vertex number okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 also let me show you the vertex also see these uh, red hollow circles these are the vertices okay and these are attached to the point in a clockwise direction so, right this here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 11 so so right now our winding order is is in the clockwise direction okay because like i said winding order is the order in which the vertices are attached to the point and right now our vertices are attached in a clockwise direction okay so uh, now if i talk about this point number 1 okay this is our point number 1 you can see that point number 1 has these two sharing edges this edge and this edge okay this point uh, point number 1 is shared by these two edges but the winding or uh, the tangent u vector is pointed along this edge right why is that because like i said the direction of tangent u vector will be along the edge that comes first in the winding order so our winding order is in this clockwise direction so the edge that comes first is this one that's why for the point number 1 the direction of uh, tangent u vector will be along this edge similarly uh, for let's say point number 5 uh, it has two options this edge and this edge but the direction of tangent u vector will be along the edge uh, this edge h h45 right because this edge comes first in the winding order okay so that's how we decide the direction of tangent u vector when the star is set to first edge okay and now let's come to next vector which is the bitangent so basically bitangent vector is nothing it's just it's just a normal vector it's just a, it's a perpendicular vector to both the normal and tangent u let me repeat it again bitangent vector is a vector which is normal or perpendicular to the normal and the tangent u vector okay you can visualize it here so this blue one is our normal vector this red one is our tangent u vector and this yellow one is our bitangent which is perpendicular to the normal and the tangent u vector okay <coughs> so these are the three vectors that is calculated using the polyframe node when the style is set to first edge now let me change the style here to two edges also uh, let me decrease the length here to something like this okay so now you can see the direction of tangent u vector changed so what happens so when i set the style to two edges the direction of tangent u vector will be the sum of the two edge vectors that uh, what i said the di when i set the style to two edges the direction of tangent u vector will be the sum of two edge vectors what are those edge vectors uh, let's see here in photoshop okay uh, let's say uh, this is our first edge this is our second edge okay and this is our point right so the two edge vectors that we have is uh, is this one and this one so if you remember in high school mathematics uh, we studied that uh, sum of two vectors vector a plus vector b will be along this vector vector a plus vector b right so similarly here uh, we have these two edge vector this one and this one so the tangent u vector will be somewhere here right so that is what is happening in here 
uh, we have these two edge vector this one and this one so the tangent u vector will be pointed along this direction and the normal vector will still be the same right it's uh, is the same vector that we have in the first stage case so no changes in this and also the bitangent vector will be perpendicular to the tangent and normal vector okay so this is what this node does <coughs> sorry so let me show you an example how we can use this node uh, so uh, so this is our circle right uh, let me create a pop net here So you can already see that uh, we have some points generated here and let me first uh, you know remove these markers okay also let me just yeah here and uh, also let's change the birth to two and one second because we don't want the points to remain forever and now i will create a pop wrangle here let me change the input first to myself and second to second context geometry okay also uh first uh, let me create a second context geometry so that we can use it in the pop wrangle so this is basically this is a circle we are using to generate points and let me create a second copy of it here and create a polyframe node so that uh, we can get all the vectors that we want right so again we have all the vectors generated right a normal tangent and bitangent okay also let me change the style to first edge and now i will plug this to the this second input right and now i will go in, in this pop wrangle and first i will write in npt near point v at the rate p okay uh, don't worry i will uh, i will explain this code so just first let me write it down then i will explain it v at the rate v is equal to point and if i hit play okay nothing is happening why is that so in context geometry uh, tangent v v at the rate v okay let me see uh okay sorry here tangent v sorry tangent u right and now if i hit play ah you can already see that it started spiraling and it already uh, it already started to look some kind of portal right okay so let me explain you the code here so basically what i'm doing uh for all these generated points okay i am getting the uh, first time getting the location of the nearest point on the circle so let's say for this point uh, for this point i find this point this one on the circle okay then i am getting the tangent u vector of this point and using it as a velocity for our generated point okay so let me repeat it again 
I am getting the nearest point on the circle and using the tangent u vector of that uh, of that point as a velocity for our generated points. Okay, that what is happening in this code. Also, uh, uh, in my previous one of the previous video where I used uh, you know to move particles along a curve, I used the similar concept. Also, I explained in a bit uh, in a bit detail there. So, if you haven't watched that video, please do watch that and you will understand this whole concept more clearly. Okay, now coming back to the video. So as you can see here, right now our particles are spiraling. But uh, there's one issue here. Uh, they are not, you know, kind of moving inward. They just spiral. They are not moving inward or something like that. Okay, so how we can do that? Basically, if you uh, see here that we not only have a tangent u vector, but uh, we also have our bi-tangent vector, which is you know kind of pointed along the center of this circle well in this case it is outward uh, so that's not a problem but you can see that it's some you know pointed along the center okay so we can use this vector also so let me go inside here and just copy this whole code paste it here and basically uh, we will add our tangent v vector to our velocity okay now if you can see yeah because our uh, tangent v vector is outward so we have to put a minus sign here so that it direction reversed and uh, now it will point inward yeah you can already see it already starting to you know uh, look like some kind of portal right we can also control its velocity if you want. Uh, you can just simply uh, multiply here by a parameter. We'll call it speed. Yeah, something like this. Now, let's just plug attribute adjust color. We will use a remap attribute we can use age whatever you want i will just use the age here and also white water mm. yeah now if you can see here Yeah, it already started looking really cool, right? Also, we can do one more thing. Uh, just let me get it here. Change this to open arc. Yeah, so that we can see it clearly. Okay, so to enhance this effect, one more thing we can do. We'll basically uh, <coughs> create a pop wind here. And do it something like this yeah i think this will work let's see how this work now yeah it's looking more cool now we can also uh, first let me do it like this yeah we can increase our particle count to fifty thousand. and now we can go outside and let me change our background to black and now if we press play yeah you can see looking very cool right well you can create all sorts of thing using this note so well it's up to your imagination so this is this is it for this video and uh, if you have any doubt please uh, share me in the comment section. I will try to answer it as much as I can and uh, thank you Thank you for watching my video and if you find this video useful, please do like and subscribe I feel really motivated when you do that. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Okay. Bye